Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I wanted to talk with you guys a little bit about some plans that we have. Um, right now I'm in my living room and my kitchen is that way. And it's kind of messy in here, as you can see. But we have some plans and I also wanted to talk with you guys a little bit about food preparation and preservation and, and kind of kitchen stuff. So. Um, I don't even think I have my kitchen light on. There it goes. Um, my kitchen is not set up for preserving food right now. Um, this right here is my everything cupboard. And so I have very little storage. Um, the bottom of that cupboard is coming out. That cupboard right there is barely usable. That one, we have plates in it. This one, we have cups. This is a pantry of some kind, which is not adequate for food storage, especially if you're canning and preserving your own food. Down here, um, we have some dog and cat food over here and some baking dishes, but all in all, my um, storage area in my kitchen is significantly lacking, and so we have to do some remodeling. I've been dreaming into existence an island, <laughs> so maybe someday I'll have an island and that's something that I've been working on a design with with Edward. And then over here we have dreaming into existence a dishwasher. Right now we do everything by hand. So um, I was working, let's see if I can get this light to turn on. Um, I've been working with Edward on getting some storage stuff figured out. So over here you see behind me our freezers where we freeze a lot of our meat and stuff that we process here on the farm and this is a three season porch um, that is completely closed in um, it needs insulation in the floor well more insulation in the floor and I think that it's inadequate in the walls but these are all windows on the back isn't this beautiful anyway this closed in area um, we're going to start remodeling um, sooner than later. Oh, see, that light's coming on. These lights will come on precisely when they mean to, even though I turned on the switch. Over here, um, behind me, and where the freezers are, we have a slider door, and that slider's broken. It's very, very heavy. You can't open it. We actually have to take the door out and put in a new door. But over here, so if, if I walk forward and you look behind me here, um, you'll see this over here we have coats and we're going to put a wall up right here and make the area right here where the freezers are a mud room. Why a mud room? Because everything from the farm comes into the house and no matter how much I clean, mop, sweep and scrub and have even people come and help me do those things. Thank you Gladys if you're watching. Um, I can't keep up with it and um, we really really need a mudroom especially during winter and mud season we come in off the farm we take off our boots we put up our coats and our hats and it brings snow and mud into the house and it's horrific and the other thing that I did is I took my seed shelves and um, since I'm done seeding for this year and I brought them in here and stuff so we have up here um, is a meat slicer which I need to unpack but I just even have I haven't had time but these are our butchering tubs so when we process um, we put the the parts and the different things in these different containers and so it's important that those are only used for those specific reasons in here in this box is butchering equipment um, and and then in this box down there is more. So there's a lot of butchering equipment here. Um, and then over here I have like my KitchenAid, my Instapot, and different um, equipment that I use in the kitchen that's too big to fit in my cupboards. And then over here I have, um, you know, my, I have a vacuum sealer and um, my pots for making bone broth and, and stuff like that and down in my root cellar is where I have my canning supplies and all that and so I'm just I'm kind of disjointed and all over my house and it makes harvest season really really difficult so one of the things that we're gonna try and do is start working on making some of our life 
simplified. So we're gonna be putting in, in this area here, and this door goes into my kitchen. So we're gonna be taking out these double doors here, and we're gonna put in just a wall right here, and this is gonna become right here the mud room and put in French doors right there. So, and then over here, we'll bring all of our freezers here. We're gonna put in wall storage along this wall where we have storage. Shelves are really inadequate, but they're working for now. Wall storage over there so that we can um, store th a lot more things and keep things organized. Because right now we have butchering knives downstairs in the root cellar. We have um, the scales over here. We have um, some of the equipment where we just were and we're just kind of scattered and it makes it really crazy when we're trying to figure out what we have and if we're ready to process. So we're trying to make some things better for us. So anyway, and uh, I'll get to some other things in the kitchen in a minute. We, like most farmhouses, we have, let's see, one, two, three, four entrances to get into our house. Um, so we're dealing with a few of them. This is a front door here, which I think is the original front door that goes out to this room here, which is also a covered three season porch. And this is our living room win win window that you can see. So this was once an outdoor space. So we're making this part, we're gonna make this part our entryway to, for guests and company to come over, you know, that aren't rummaging around on the farm, tracking in snow and mud. So if you guys have any design ideas for this room, I will gladly take it. It's a blank slate, literally. I'm thinking about putting curtains on all of these windows. Um, See, I don't know what the measurements of the floor, but I was thinking a runner along here and this area, maybe a bench for seating to take off your shoes and boots and then maybe a coat rack right here. I don't know. I'm trying to imagine what I'm gonna do. I would like to replace the ceiling here with a shiplap instead of this indoor outdoor grade stuff I think um, that's more external but during the holidays this is a really beautiful place to decorate and I would like to um, make it just really homey out here and inviting for people that are coming a place they can sit down get out of the weather take off their shoes and come into a house anyway so then they'll come in the door that we just went out And then, all right, and then we talked about the mudroom area. Now, our plan in here is, let me see if I can show you guys. Hey, Paisley. Hey, Mom. So our plan in here, excuse me, sweetheart, is we took out this wall right here. Um, this was a broom closet. And when we took it out, we realized that we have more than one ceiling. <laughs> so, I don't know how many ceilings you can have before you have too many, but I feel like we have too many ceilings. Anyway, um, the ceilings in the house is pretty low. So we're, we're talking about, one, taking the ceiling up uh, to the first ceiling and putting shiplap along here with some faux beams to give it character. Adding an island in my dreaming of the island space. Taking all of the cabinets out, taking the door out and that window, maybe adding a window there, I don't know, but I don't want this to be a door anymore. I want to use the front door and or the mudroom door I don't think we need this door because this tracks in so much dirt from outside. And I want to bring in counters across here and put in a better um, gas range and double ovens. And then along this, I want to make the window bigger so we have more view of the 
the farm outside and then do some open shelving tile backsplash and then over here where these double doors are I want to bring the wall out to about right here and then make an actual bench seating that goes all along this wall here and out there so that we actually have a designated dining room mm -hmm. you know be nice. it would be so nice do some wainscoting yeah we want to do wainscoting along there and I haven't decided on a kitchen color I kind of flip floppy so we have a lot of gray in our house we don't want to do more gray but I'm thinking about green but I'm nervous about green but I think I like it but then there's other thing colors that I've liked that when I've tried the samples out they're not nice that's what he's saying that they weren't as great as you thought they were when you initially saw them well I wanted gold downstairs but it was chicken poop color <laughs> so I can't have chicken poop color on my wall anyway um so this area here this uh walkway here that's wide the living room is on this side around that door or that frame my office is right there and that's the downstairs we want to take this wall from here out to this corner to widen that up to give it a more open concept that will make a pathway behind this hutch as the other door from here all the way through to here this wall here which will then give our dining room tuck it back a little bit anyway um it's gonna be expensive well all i'm hearing is there are many many projects <laughs> with just the doing stuff on the inside yeah Not to mention all the stuff outside well yes there's lots of stuff but i think but this would be fun stuff i think there's some things that we've learned in homesteading and I think we have a million other things to learn but if you're going to to grow your own food and harvest your own food you need to be able to have an adequate kitchen mm -hmm. a place to store your food that you process and you need to make it so that when you're done working outside and you're working hard and you come indoors that you're able to actually kick off your boots relax and not look around you and wish that your space was better than what it is mm -hmm. no I'm not saying that we have to have something that's so crazy out of this world but I need a burner that I can have a couple canners going at a time because it takes you know hours to can um, I need to have adequate storage a dishwasher so we're not spending like hours washing dishes you know an island so I have a place to roll out dough or to slice put my meat slicer and slice up bacon that we've smoked you know there's some logistics that we need to put in place so that our lives are not so complicated or everything's not so hard yeah you know yeah I mean it's just investing in our infrastructure and making sure that we have a place to do it I mean, the kitchen so far, I mean, we're grateful. Yes, it could be worse. We could have no kitchen. <laughs> you could have, we could have painted chicken poop on the wall. We're not going to paint chicken poop but, on the wall. <laughs> you know, it got that awful color. But it's been working for now. But now we're taking that next step and we're going bigger in food preservation and preparation. And we have more animals and more meats to process. And it's not just. Uh, you know a small little garden and some butchering some chickens it's now we have chickens and we're gonna be butchering pigs and we're gonna be butchering lambs <laughs> and mm -hmm. the garden is much bigger this year and it's gonna be even bigger next year mm -hmm. so the idea is basically we need to prepare a space and create a space with what we have here in order to make it so that we can put away and preserve and save and prepare all the food that we work so mm -hmm. hard to produce here on the farm mm -hmm. so we have a place to put it and we have somewhere to we have a place to process all that and to do all that and you know we'd like it to look nice too 
Yeah, there's something about like the fact that you go to work all day and you work really hard and then you get off of work and you work really hard on the farm and you get off working on the farm and you're making dinner or you're making breakfast or you're you're spending time with your kids and in the middle of all of that hard work, you want to look at the surroundings that you come in where you rest your head and where you have this the security of your home and and the place where your family can just let their hair down, so to speak, and you want to feel proud of what you are accomplishing. And it's really hard to do that if everything around you is falling apart. Yeah. Or well, not adequate or difficult. Yeah. And I mean, we also want to make it a space that's we want to make it a space that's enjoyable for us, but also a space that's enjoyable to have people over so that they can enjoy it as well. A space that's welcoming and inviting and maybe provides us a place to do, you know, how to and teaching tutorial type videos or cooking videos or things of mm -hmm. that nature. I know we love being able to create those kind of, that kind of content, but right now, it's safe to say, you're like, I don't wanna make any of those videos in the kitchen the way it is now. Well, it's just, it's difficult to maneuver in here and I don't have storage and I have to run all over the house to find the different parts of the things that I need because it's inadequate and stuff. So, you're we're, right, I don't... We're making it better. Yeah, so we're making it better. But all of that to say, I have some asks for, from you guys, if you could help me. One, what are some really good... Um, kitchen organization strategies for designing your kitchen that you might have. Mm, Keeping yeah. in mind workflow, being a multiple people being in a kitchen space, um, things that we need to keep an idea of. Like we're thinking about doing some open shelving. I want some shelving that isn't open, but some of it I want open. And then um, what does the flow need to be like? Because I want to keep that in mind too. Um, I'm thinking about doing a double oven versus a range, and I just want to do a gas stove top, maybe a six burner with a griddle thing on it, or just a six burner thing would be fine. Six to eight burners would be great because then sometimes I have like pans in waiting when I'm cooking. Let's turn this down really quick here. I'm making dinner and my stuff is boiling. You got it? So I'm making one of Paisley's favorite soups. It's potato, spicy sausage potato kale soup. And we're just in the process of making it right now. And it's pretty hot. I think the potatoes are done now. Nope. We'll let it keep cooking a little bit. And um, anyway, once that uh, the potatoes are soft, we'll let it bring simmer down. And then I will add kale and get the kale cooked. And when the kale is just about done, then I will add milk and bring up the volume and keep it from scalding the milk. I don't like scalded milk. But anyway, so yes, workflow in the kitchen. So I wanna do stainless steel appliances because I like it. I want to do a green kitchen, I think, but then if I do a green kitchen, I feel like I have to have gold things in my kitchen. Um, and I, cause I think it matches really well. Like, so anyway, but I think stainless steel would also look good with green as well. Also, we're going to do faux, faux beams on the ceiling and, um, we want to do the espresso stain on those. I love it. Our kitchen Island will have a butcher block on the top for now. And that will also be an espresso stain. Um, I want to make some sort of cover like a stainless steel cover that we can put over the top of it while we're processing a large amount of meat. That way it prevents contamination and stuff like that. But we can come to that in time, <laughs> like in time. But um, I want some design 
things. I want a farm sink and my countertop to go over the top because it's easier to clean, keep your counters sanitized without having a lip by the sink. Instead of having, I know my kitchen's a mess, but instead of having the kitchen faucet go in down, I want it to come out of the wall. And then where the stove is, I want it to move over here. And I would like there to be a pot filler that comes up out of the wall. So somehow we have to walk, run additional water and electrical. Mm -hmm. So these are some ideas. I need to turn that down. It's boiling again. I don't want it to boil so hard. Just a little. Anyway, um, these are some things that we are talking about doing, we've been talking about for a while, and I think we're gonna start working on them. Now, we can't do it all at once. No. Um, we have a farm to run, we have mortgage to pay, we have bills, so a little bit at a time. And um, it's gonna take a little bit. However, things that we can do sooner than later is put an island in in my spot so that I can convince myself that dreams do come true <laughs> and um, of course they do and um, we can work on walling in right over here uh, to make the the dining room area and over here we can take this wall out now yeah. Those, that's going to be quite a bit for this year if we were even to get that much done. But we can certainly give it our best shot. As far as taking the ceiling up to the original ceiling line, I think we have to get an electrician out here. Because we have this light here that we don't like. And this fan, which we also don't like that's hooked up to a dimmer switch, which um, I don't think that's right. It's not. It's not correct. That is not code. You should never have a fan hooked up to a dimmer switch. Um, you can see, here's the reason why. If it's not, if the knob is not turned all the way up to max lighting and you turn it down, the lights or if the fan like if I turn the lights off the fan starts getting a little wonky and if you do the fan speed you can't do it it doesn't, it doesn't work. let you really dim anything without it shutting off so anyway so there's some things like that that need to be looked at so Edward will have to but to I figure think that out. Doing all the recess lighting. Yeah, so over the island, I want to do pendant lighting up here. Um, so, uh, and I don't know which ones. So throw some pictures in the comment of your favorite pendant lighting. And then I want to move where the, that light is and I want to move it over and I want to do a chandelier over kind of like a farm table. So send pictures of your favorite chandelier. And then don't forget ideas for entryways because I, I want to have a nice welcoming place for people to come and be at our house. So anyway, we have our work cut out for us both out here and creating the mud room, which is something that we want to create this year um, and getting that wall put up right over here. And it's going to start here and it will go across and end somewhere in here. Now, there's not very much space in between these windows, so I don't know how we're going to do that, but we'll figure it out. Oh, yeah. It's, you can fit a two by four in, in between here and then have enough room for drywall. It'll be like a glove. Like a glove. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know. Because I don't, I, I, we need to take the paneling off this wall to see what the insulation is like behind it. Because this room in the summer is hot and it's freezing in the winter. And if we're going to make this part of the house, it can't be that way. 
so anyway that's kind of what we're up to and what we've been working on lately um, I've got to get all of our butchering supplies in one spot because we're still disjointed although we've made some good progress and I've got to um, see what our inventory is with the with the um, vacuum sealer I think that we're going to reduce a lot of costs and having to get bags and boiling stuff and just the time that it takes to cool we'll be able to I want to part out most of our chickens this year and do a bunch of canning on the front end of the the harvest season and I really would like to take a step back from farming this winter because we're processing most all of our animals except for the dogs and our egg layers and the rabbits and the ducks everything else will be processed um, taking a step back and working on making our home more functional so that we can have a higher quality of life so look at that opportunity for us to learn a whole bunch of new things this year oh yes <laughs> <laughs> all these projects will be uh, will add to our skill sets pretty quickly yeah so anyway um, we just want to thank you guys for watching and following along on our journey stay tuned for more content like this um, and let us know if there's anything that you want to see us do or any ideas that you have for some of our plans for internal updating and um, we really care for all of you guys and we thank you so much for your support have a yes. great day. Bye, guys. Bye.